Hi, so Becca. Hear me? Okay. Um, if somebody could let me know if you can hear me. Brenda, I'll just say hi all over again. I don't know if you guys can hear me or, or not. Um, hello, Brenda. Hello, Mary. Hello, Becca. Hi, Cam. Let's see. Oh, well, I'm not plugged in. I don't know why I always do that. Okay. Can you hear me now? <sighs> Hi, Jewel. Hi, Kim. Hi, Jody. Okay, good. You can hear me. Great. <laughs> Not that I have anything important to say. <laughs> there. Got my tea. Let's be friends. Yeah, I always forget to plug in those, the microphone. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just, I guess I'm just so new at this. Like I said the other day, if my head wasn't attached, it would roll off and I couldn't find it. Hi, Judy. Hi, Nancy. All right. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, let's see, Brenda asks, how am I? Um, I'm hurting. <laughs> but I'm here for you. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to stay on. Um, yeah, I, I took, well, I think you all know, most of you anyway. A couple of days ago, um. I slid out on that ice in our driveway, our parking lot area, and uh, the I'd say the ice is, you know, two to three inches thick, and it just barely melts during the day, and then at night it freezes over again, and then it snowed, and it snowed about three inches, but I have chains on my muck boots and uh, muck boots are you know some of you might may know what they are they mostly people who work on ranch work on the ranch or on a farm or do a lot of um, gardening <laughs> that kind of stuff they're they're just big rubber thick boots and but man are they warm I'll tell you 
Anyway, I have those. I have some chains on the bottom of them. Well, that snow kind of packed up, the wet snow packed up underneath those chains. And um, so I was just, my foot was ice, you know, on ice, which made it 300 times worse. And I just, whew, <laughs> down I came. And uh, yeah, I have a bad back anyway from that four-wheeler wreck. Um, so that didn't help. And landed right on my right hip bone. Um, you know, oh boy. But I also, when, you know, I landed on this shoulder and just the whole jarring thing. So now my neck. <laughs> I need some wine and cheese. <laughs> so I can keep whining and have something to eat. Oh, here's a color I might want. Ooh, hey, that's pretty. I might be able to use some of that in the mouth. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna look and see what you're saying. Okay, let's see. I like that cup. Thank you. Oh, the ice is horrible. And now it has snowed like um, a couple of more inches. Brandon yesterday did go out and plow, so that helped. And I wore his boots <laughs> today when I went outside because he's got these monster chains on his boots. I need to get me some of those. I mean, there are spikes like that long on his, on the sole of his boots. All right. Well, I thought I had gotten further on my, on the art quilt than what I see. Um, I think I came over here and was messing around and messed up my things I had because I I had taken this picture and I cut out a bunch of mouth pieces and now they're gone. <laughs> I've looked all over for them. <clears throat> so I don't know where they are. Oh wow. Um, Brenda says that, um, well, you probably see it on the rolling, but she got a projector and, and she plans on marking the quilt top with it and copying garment patterns. Nice. Nancy had to shovel uh heavy so uh sh shovel slush yeah slush is heavy heavy snow that's what we got out there now heavy snow yeah um oh geez jewel i those, that um, shoulder surgery is no joke. Now, I have had eight, eight surgeries. <laughs> and I would have to say that the worst one ever was my right shoulder. I had um, rotator cuff surgery. Mm -hmm. You see it? And uh, in back here, I got a scar about that long in the back. And uh, 
Oh my God, that hurts. And you cannot sleep. You cannot lay down. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh my goodness, Vicki made a huge pot of spaghetti sauce, like two and a half gallons. My God. And so Becca cannot wait for a Zoom free motion lesson with Teresa. Oh, we need to schedule a date, Becca. And Kim has a scar just like mine on her shoulder. Did you have... Surgery too? You must have. Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. I wish, Becca. Um, tomorrow, Brandon and I got to go to Lewiston for him to have the um, heart treatment thing. Um, it's called... Um, Cardio version. And they, that's where they're going to um, shock his heart. Back out of AFib, we hope. So, yeah, I think we have to be there like at noon. They do the procedure at 1 o'clock. And um, he has to have a ride home, so... No, they don't. Um, they don't want to do a pay, pacemaker, and um, I think it's because of that leaky valve. I don't know. They're going to try this. The doctor told him that he could have this procedure done every day, and it wasn't going to hurt anything. But he doesn't want to have it done every day because he said it's like getting kicked in the chest by a mule. Well, you can imagine it's it's basically kind of the same thing when they're trying to bring somebody back to life because that's what they're doing. They're stopping your heart and then shocking you. So, you know, basically they are killing him and then bringing him back to life. I mean, I hate to be that morbid about it, but that's basically what they're doing. I'm praying it works too. Thank you for your prayers, you guys. You know, he, um, when he had it last time, a couple of years ago, he felt pretty good for a long time. Um, you know, he gained all his weight back and his, he had more energy and he could do things. So, um, I was surprised that he told the doctor he wanted to do it because, you know, he doesn't like it, but he wants to be able to go do stuff. So, The shocks gave your hubby shingles? Really? I wonder I wonder how that worked. Because um, shingles um, is from the chicken pox virus which stays in your spleen lower spleen um, and hibernates <laughs> until until it I don't know what all uh, stress can cause it I know to bring it on I had shingles about seven years ago Oh, it hits all the nerves in your body. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Well, shall we look at this art quilt? Because <laughs> I think that's why we're here. Uh, well, we got 11 people watching. That's great. Did you guys watch my video I posted the other day on all the little things I want to do? I was going to do yoga for you, but 
at the last minute, I decided not to. So I just threw that funny thing in at the end. <laughs> that video was actually a lot of fun to make because, um, you know, I had to set up each spot. <laughs> and then I went around with the camera and, and uh, yeah, it was kind of fun, but um, somebody said, I think it was Tony. I don't know if Tony's here. She said, um, it looked like I was getting a lot more comfortable with the camera, and and I am. It's hard because you're really kind of talking to yourself. You know, you can see yourself in the camera. Uh, you can't hear anybody else. You just, you know, read. But it's, so it's kind of like talking to yourself, and that's a little uncomfortable. And I'm starting to get used to um, talking out loud to myself. <laughs> I talk to myself all the time. Oh, good, June. I'm glad you guys thought it was, it was kind of funny, I thought. <laughs> there goes the phone. Well, Brandon can get it. I usually turn it off, but I forgot. I'm going to put some chapstick on. Um, okay. Have I said hi to everybody? I think so. If I miss somebody, go ahead and type something again. And um, I'll say hi. If I didn't say hi, hi. All right. So, yeah, I'm having a really hard time with this mouth. I can't get the colors right. And um, I think it's because... Let's see. Look how this mouth is. You see how far? Um, she's got a lot of jowl. So all this lip, you know, that's hanging over. And so what I'm trying to do is get this dark. The, here's her teeth. Those are teeth right there with her tongue. And then there's this dark line here. Right? And then this is a little lighter. But she's got these weird white spots here and there. And then we go into dark again. You know, and dark over here, and then we've got some light here, and then these weird, like shark teeth. It's amazing what you learn about your animal when you <laughs> start looking at their photos in detail. I didn't realize this <laughs> when she was alive. So, this is being a real challenge for me. And I'm not matching it up very good at all. I might have to get some help. <laughs> um, you see. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. All right, how's the view? Um, hi, Nita. Hi, Angela. Yeah, I'm going to try and come on at 2 or 2.30 my time on Sundays.
Uh, oh, you think it looks good? <laughs> well, Angela, if you'd have been here right at the very beginning, I didn't have the mic plugged in. <laughs> but you can always holler at me and say, Hey, numbskull, <laughs> plug it in. So, what do you think about that color? Can you see it well enough to... Here. Here. Um, I, here's the fabric I picked out for the two teeth. Do I need to get you closer? It's perfect. Oh. Okay. Well, then I'll just keep trying to... Let's see, I'm going to have to get some dark in up here. Along there. And... Uh, and then a lighter color there. All right. And then I also wanted to try this <clears throat> on the ear over here. I know it's really light, but I'm going to go back over it with some black um, tool. I just think it would make really cool ears. And let me grab the black tool. Okay. And then if you come over it, see how much that would darken that up? And you could even put like a couple of layers on there like, like that. I tried to hold it still because I know the camera does better to focus for a minute. So I still want to try and get that in there. And um, Becca sent me some fabrics. Thank you, Becca. Okay, Nancy thinks the mouth looks good, especially the inside dark area lip. Okay. Yeah, that I'm thinking about trying that for the light of the ear instead of this. Um, so this has a lot of the pinks in it that the mouth has. So... Might be, might be too bright. Anyway, Becca sent me a bunch of uh, batiks, and they're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Love that one. Yes. So there might be some of these pinks that I can use in the mouth here somewhere. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, oh, you think the air looks good like it is now? Well, I'm going to have to come in with some light eventually. Okay. 
see right here? That is part of the ear. There's the underside of the ear, which is really dark. And then this is the highlighted part of the ear. It goes all the way down there. So, because um, her head doesn't stop right here, you know. There it goes. <laughs> more over. <laughs> over more. All right. Let's see. Something like this might be good for inside of the mouth. Okay. Maybe move this over here. Hi, Kathleen. Are you guys spinning? All right, so what I'm going to do again, I have this black and white photo, and I'm going to bring it down here on my workspace so I can cut some stuff out. Now, if you guys want to watch me do that, uh, say so. I, I need a container. I can just... It just kind of complicates things. <laughs> I would think if I was going to use it, I would have used it by now. Right? I know um, Susan Carlson says to save all those pieces, but... Also, I'm going to bring this down here for a minute. Let's see if I can find any color I like. Ooh, I kind of like this color right here. You did good, Becca. <laughs> Let's see. Buffering off and on. Well, that's pretty normal for my videos. If I don't think they're ever going to fix it. This leaf right there as a tongue. That would be kind of whimsical.
Yeah, I'm doing a little spinning. I got all the other internet devices off too. I don't think Brandon even has his on. Yeah, I think I'm going to cut a little piece out of this. If I can find my scissors. Did the chat stop? No. Just checking to see if uh, everything's still going. <laughs> All right. So. Oh, you're watching us, watching me? Okay. Um, did you want to see what I'm doing down here on the table? Let's see. Right now I'm just trying to cut out some dark pieces that might work for this mouth. And then I'll bring them down to the photo and uh, see what I can match up. Yeah, I should have put some music on. Something. All right, let's see what I got here. So I cut out this piece because it has this dark line through it here. I got some light, some darks. There's another interesting one that might work. These are would be for the mouth. Here's another one. Because I need to get that um, dark line in there.
Hi, Carolyn. Thank you. It is a happy Sunday. I'm glad that you could all join me. Oh, hi, Jim. Didn't see you there. Did I miss anybody else? Okay. Alrighty. I'm gonna grab my black and I don't know if this color is going to work or not. Oh, there they are. It's like, where did those scissors go? <laughs> They're in the cup over there. I don't know. I think I kind of like this color better than the dark color that's in there. Uh, I'm gonna take it out. I'm cutting the fabric. Hi, Tiffany.
Oh, Kim, that sounds beautiful. Your fabric. Oh, he's not feeling too bad, Angela. He, um, we got the uh, doctor's appointment tomorrow. Yeah, Tiffany, that lunch sounds good. <laughs> Do we know what Tiffany's going to... Thank you for your prayers. I really appreciate it. Um, make tonight on her live. I can't see... Uh... The dog with comment. That picture is not very clear, is it? Oh, I know. Adjust your screen on your own devices. That would probably help. Good, good view of that. Um, let's see. See what this looks like. What do you guys think of that?
Is that better than the other? That's that big part of the lip right there. How big that is. That's what that is. Hi, Joanna. Let's see. Let me read this real quick. <clears throat> Oh, wow, Kathleen. Uh, no, I can't tell that you're on a little screen. <laughs> Thanks, Joanna.
Jim says we all need a better year. Amen. Oh, <laughs> that's funny, Kathleen. Uh, she says that um, she's struggling. It's kind of like the puzzle aspect. She wants to get her hands in there and put a piece on. <laughs> yeah, I know that. I cannot walk past a puzzle and not try to put it together. That's for sure. I used to do them down at the kitchen table, but my husband kind of took that area over for his leather tooling. I used to go over and sit with his mom and do puzzles all the time. I love puzzles. Um, let's see. What else we got here? Kim says it's looking like cookie. Yeah, I think it's getting there. A little bit at a time. Okay. Joanna is working on binding a quilt while watching and listening. Awesome. Oh, I bet that feels good. Get the binding done. That means you are almost done. Yay. Get you back over there. All right. Let's see what else I need here. I forgot I put Willa's toys back up on the cutting table because Annie kept coming up and getting them. And then she didn't have anything to play for with. Now I wonder if I can find any fabric that's kind of fuzzy. Because <laughs> she's got this fuzzy hair. Well, this is all kind of fuzzy hair, but... Got a lot of fuzzy hair right here. I still need to figure out what I'm going to do about the teeth right there. I don't think I want to use these. I don't know. I'm going to step back. Yeah, I think that's looking okay. I think I can live with it.
Cutting out more fabric. I was thinking about making a table runner with you guys today, but a lot of people said art quilt, so here we are. that I'm just trying to see what colors I like better that doesn't have enough pink in it
Okay, I'm just going to read the comments real quick. <laughs> I have to get them a little bit closer because you, you know I'm blind. Okay, Nita is finishing up on some postcards. She made a good number of them. And now her creative mojo has moved on to other projects. Well, you know, Nita, you could just set them aside and go do something else for a little while and then come back to it. <clears throat> June likes the mouth better than it was. Okay, great. Um, Nita, you're probably in the swap. Lisa Marie swap for the postcard thing, or is that done? Thanks, Kim. Uh, Kathleen says there's more definition in the tongue versus the flesh. Yeah, except for this mouse part right here. But I can come back in with some other goodies. <laughs> Touch up. <laughs> well, thank you, Joanna. And thank you, Angela. Good. I'm glad that's looking good. Yeah. What do you guys think about that for the teeth there? Yeah, I'm going to come back in and do some touching up for sure, Kathleen. I'm just, really I'm just kind of testing out the fabrics in the mouth. Yeah, I'm overlapping. doesn't hurt to overlap. I'm going to come back with... Um, Tool. Okay. All right. Okay, well, I'll just keep at it like that then. Okay. Put this down. Um, is it uh, three nineteen? Wow. Oh, I missed that comment. <laughs> Great. 
Oh, that's right. I think tomorrow, or is it today? Is a holiday tomorrow? Yep, Need is doing the postcard. That looks like fun. Use this for the tongue. Lines, you know. I could use it for some of the highlight right there. I'm going to save it just in case. Because you never know. I just might do that. Okay. Um, let's see. We're going to use something here on the neck. It's pretty dark. See if I want that color or not. Just testing out colors. See what I like in there. I think I want to use kind of a dark gray blue there.
Oops. Cut off too much. I think I need to start gluing some of this stuff down because it's going to keep falling off. think about that. Yeah. 3.30. Oh, wow. It's 3.30, you guys. Ooh, pizza. That sounds good. I want pizza. We can't order pizza here. Nobody delivers. I have to make it. Ooh, pot pie, uh, frozen pot pie sounds good too. Yeah, they're, I like the Marie Calendar ones. <laughs> Sometimes, uh, my husband eats a bowl of cereal after dinner for that's his dessert. Uh, 6.30 for you? Yeah. I, I wish they wouldn't change the time, you know. Just leave it alone. Let us get up earlier or later, whatever, you know. Well, you guys, I 
I've had the heater off of me for an hour and a half. And I need to get up and move around. Oh, I'm getting cold. <laughs> Stiff, but I've had fun. And I think we've really made some progress here. So, boy, this thing sure is taking a long time, isn't it? Hopefully the second one that I do isn't so long. I'm guessing that um, it gets easier as you learn how to do it. Mm -hmm. That would be my guess. Okay, you guys. Well, thanks, Jim. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And, um, oh, thanks, Tiffany. She said it's going to be awesome no, no matter how long it takes. That's right. And it gives us something to do on Sunday. And you guys can sit around and work on your little projects and look over and see what I'm doing now and then, which is kind of fun. Um, yeah, get warmed up, limbered up, yep, heat up my tea, yeah, I'm going to go get the heating pad on for sure, and, um, get me a little snack and wait for Tiffany to come on so I can see what she's up to tonight, because I believe she'll be on in about a half hour. Yep, we'll meet at Tiffany's, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, and if you have any um, constructive co uh, comments, <laughs> motivations, come back and put them in the comments for me if I missed anything. Okay. So let's say goodbye to everybody. And I'll give you guys just a... I know there's a lag time, so I'll just... Give you guys a few minutes, which you guys are all doing that, so that's great. I like to do that. Give you everybody a little bit of time to say goodbye and not just hang up. Hanging up is the hardest thing to do because of the lag time, but I can hang up and then come over here and still comment. <laughs> yes, big hugs, everybody. Virtual hugs. Oh, Deborah, hello and goodbye. I'm sorry. Darn it. Yeah, we've been on for an hour and a half already. Thank you, though, for stopping in. Come over and visit with us over at Tiffany's. She'll be on uh, Tiffany's Quilting Life. She'll be on in um, at the top of the hour. So, Okay, Deborah. Thank you. If you ring that little bell next to the subscribe button um, and select all, you'll get my notifications. All right, you guys, have a great night. Uh, go get some tea or coffee or whatever, water. Go warm up, do a little stretching. And um, if I don't see you before, I will see you next Sunday between 2 and... 2.30 ish. And, uh, okay. Bye for now.